Making a two ring rigging saver using Extreme Arborist Supplies X rigging rings. Remember, Extreme Arborist Supply always recommends using at least three rings for a terminal rigging point. The things you'll need are simple. A ruler, a coat hanger, a ballpoint pen, a sharpie, a pair of scissors, a pair of pliers, some whipping twine, some cordura, plain old scotch tape, two of the large extreme rigging rings, and a length of 3 quarters 10x. Using the coat hanger, I made a homemade fit. Here's the taper, and here's a shot using the homemade fid to pull in the berry. With the first ring spliced into the sling, it's time to begin the second splice. We're going to use a locking brummel, but since we aren't able to push the end with the ring already in it through the tail of the splice, we're going to have to take the tail around the standing line. To do so, we'll set a spike, get some tape ready, and begin to unweave the tail of the 10x sling. Once you get it all unwoven, you're going to take it around the standing line and create a four strand weave. You will then taper that weave and bury it as normal. Here's the finished product before any whipping went on. To protect the 10x from abrasion and picking, I cut an inch and a half Cordura abrasion sleeve lengthwise and then wrapped it around the entire sling, closing it with a variety of stitches.
Once I find an appropriate snap, I'll add it to one end of the rigging saver near one of the rings with a small prusik. This will allow the unit to be set and retrieved remotely like a ring and ring friction saver. Using a two ring setup like this as a terminal rigging point is a violation of the manufacturer's recommendations and doing so is done by your own choice and at your own risk. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.